Hey everyone, welcome to Coding Simplified and now we'll see a new question in BHT or binary search tree. So basically we are given a BHT here and we are given a range. Now we need to remove all the nodes which are outside of the range in the given BHT. Right. So if you see that here my this is my BHT and my range are 4 to 12. It means we need to remove all the nodes which are lesser than 4 and which are greater than 12 in the BHT. Right. So the resultant list will still be the BHT, but it will con it will contain only in the between the ranges. Right. So if you see that in this BHT, this we have ranges 4 to 12. It means this 2 will be removed. Then again, this 15 will be removed and 20 will be removed. Right. So these three nodes will be removed. So if you see what we have done that the after the resultant list, 8 will still be here, 6 will still be here, 7 is still be here, right? So this layer, this layer is still here. So if you see this is still here, but this 5, because this 2 was not there, because 2 is not in range, so what we'll do, somehow we can remove this point and we need to adjust the right point here, right? So if you see the 5 has come at this place, similarly if you see, because this 15 and 20 will not be there in the BHT, so we need to basically somehow move this 12 to at this place, right? And that's what we have done, that we have moved 12 to here, right? So this is what we need to do, that we need to remove all the nodes which are outside the given range in the BHT. And the final BHT and final tree will also should be the BHT nodes, right? So if you see a basic point here, that let's say my given range is here, my given range is 4 to 12, right? Now somehow, let's say if I reach here on this 12 and this given node in and this given node is lesser than the minimum value, right? So there is no point to go in the left side because I know that if this value is lesser than the minimum value, then here also it will be lesser values, right? Though it is null, but here also it will be lesser values. So what we can say in this case, there is no point to go in, inside, we'll go basically in this side, right side. Right. So this is the important point that we need to take care. Similarly, if you see for the for the given range as well, let's say for the maximum range. Now, if you see that for 15, if this 15 is greater than the maximum value, it means there is no point to go in the right side. Right. Because the right side values always be the again, it will be the greater than this one, because if this value is greater than this one maximum value and this value also be greater than this one. So what we need to do that we need to basically assign this node of left value to the this value, right? And similarly here for this two case, we need to assign this value at this place, right? So the concept will be that as soon as we find out the value which are lesser than this one, so we'll assign the node of right, node of right to this value. And similarly here, if we, are, if we get to value that if node of value is greater than the maximum value, then we assign the node of left value to this one, right? Now, how we can traverse the binary tree or this BHT? So we need to traverse in post order manner so that we can effectively assign the values. We can effectively, uh, you know, change the nodes. So how to do that? Uh, let's write a function. So let's say my function name is remove and where, which parameters I need to pass. First of all, I'll pass the root node here. So let's say this is my node and I will pass the minimum value and I will pass the maximum value, right? Because these are my given range. This is minimum value. This is maximum value. Now, uh, this is negative case. Let's say if node equals to null, if node null, then I will, I will return null. Right. Now, because we, need, we are going in post order manner. So what we can say that post order manner means the, the node of left, the node of left will be recursively call this remove and here it will be node of left and then here it will be minimum and maximum. Right. Similarly here, I will call the node of right and then call the recursively function this remove and here we call the node of right and here we call similarly we pass the minimum and maximum right now what will happen let's say this case let's say my given range of 4 and 12 and let's see on this one so we start from 8 
then because uh, then we go to node of left recursively so here we'll go here 6 again we'll go here 2 then we'll go here then we find out null so if it is null it will return null now for this 2 we have covered the left case right we have covered the left case now go to right side so in right side we have 5 and here let's take one more example let's say here we have 3 as well and here we have null so 5 will again go in the 5 will again go in the left side so here we have 3 and here we have null here we have null right so it means for 3 uh, this is this is null so it will return null and this is this will also return null so it means for this 3 we have covered this left portion and right portion so now we can check right so we what we can say that here if node of data if node of data is less than the minimum if it is less than the minimum then we can return node of right node of right right but here what is node of right this is null so it means this will return null so for 5 for 5 because we because when it was 5 then we move to left side so what will happen this 3 will return null so here it will assign null here right so it means for 5 we have covered this case and then it will go in right side in right side also we have null so it will also return so now for 5 we have covered we have covered the uh, we have covered the left and right so in right and left we have null in right also we have null now we can check that if node of data is less than minimum now 5 is the not less than minimum 5 in 5 is greater than minimum so now we need to check the maximum case as well so what we can do else we can check else if node of data if node of data is greater than maximum if it is greater than maximum then we need to return we need to return node of left right and then at the last return node so that is my function all about it right and this is my complete function so now what happens if you see that here for 5 so 5 is not less than minimum and is not greater than maximum this is in between the range so it means in this case we return just node so this 5 will be 5 will return here right now we are at 2 so for 2 we have covered the left case we have covered the right case now let's see the condition if check if for 2 if node of data this 2 value is less than the minimum value right so what will happen this will return the node of right it means this will be removed and it will remove node of right this 5 so what will happen for this 6 for this 6 this 5 will be written so for 6 this this 5 will be attached because this root 2 will be removed and this 5 will be in place of this one because we are returning node of right these two lines are very important that you understand right that if node of data is less than minimum like it happened in this case 2 was less than minimum so we return node of right so that is why 5 attached here and if node of data is greater than maximum like this case then we will return node of left we will attach 12 here right so now let's see for this case so for 6 we have covered left case now go to 7 so because 7 is between the range because 4 and 12 it is between the range so we won't do anything we'll just return note as it is so it means what's the situation now that 5 is here and here we have 7 right for 6 so for 8 now it will return so for 8 we have covered the left case now it will go to right side so when we come to 15 it will go again recursively left side 12 so 12 here it is null it is also null right so then it will check for 12 so 12 is between the ranges because 12 is including this one so again it is fine so it will return this node so this is fine then for 15 it will go in right side the 20 now 20 it will go to 20 and again it is null it is null now 20 is not in ranges right so if it is not in the ranges it will return this null so it means this 20 will be removed this 20 will be removed and in between it will be null because it will return this null so for 15 we have covered this uh, left side we have covered the right side now check that if 15 is lesser than or greater than this one Just here 15 is greater than maximum so if node of data is greater than maximum then return node of left it means it will return node of left which is 12 so what will happen this 12 will also be removed and this 12 this node of left will attach here so it means for 8 so it means it will attach here so for 8 
in right side it will be this 12 and in left side it will be 6 right so if you see and for 8 because 8 is in between the ranges because for 8 we have done left side we have done right side and then it will check for 8 so because 8 and it 8 is between the ranges so it will at the last it will return note right so if you see that this exactly after the BST this is equal to the same right so we have covered or we have basically removed all the nodes which are which were outside the given ranges right so what is the concept the concept is simple that you traverse the uh, BST in post order manner and for every node then you check that if node of data is less than minimum so if it is minimum it means current value and lesser values will also be lesser than the minimum value so it means you need to go to right side similarly if node of data is greater than maximum then you then you need to return the node of left and then you return node so at the last it will be the BST right now what is the time complexity to solve this question so if you see what we are doing we are traversing the complete BHT in the post order manner so if there are n nodes if there are n nodes in the BHT I need to traverse all the n nodes so it will be big of n now if you talk about the space complexity so as such I am not using any extra space so it will be big of 1 so it will be big of 1 because I am not using ex any extra space. but because we are using recursion so if you consider because what happens that in recursion it uses internally stacks to save the values right so if you consider that space complexity then it will be big of h big of height because what happens that in a particular stack if I go here then if I go here then I go here then I go here right so it means at one moment for a particular level for a particular height I am storing only one value so that is why it will be big of h if you consider the recursive space complexity right now let me show you the code as well though it is not different what we have shown in the logic but still let me show you so that you know that we are on the same page so here uh, I, this is how I have created my BHT and here I am calling the function remove BHT keys outside the given ranges where I am passing the root and the range 4 and 10 and now and this is my uh, basic case that if node is null then return null otherwise in node of left I am assigning the uh, I am recursively calling the node of left with the values min maximum and node of left similarly for right case I am assigning node of right and min maximum and which I am assigning node of right so what happens that uh, for a particular recursive when it will return node so it will assign the values in node of left similarly here node of right and now this is very important point that you are checking that if node of data is less than minimum then node will be node of right or what you can do then uh, rather than this one uh, we need to return directly node return node of right right and similarly here uh, we can say return node of left right so this is how uh, this is how we can solve our question so let me show by running this one and uh, let me also add these current nodes so that uh, we are on same page so here we added the 12 because here 12 is missing and 3 is also missing right and my given range is 12 4 to 12 so now uh, run this one and let's see whether it is exactly giving the same output or not so in root if you see that here uh, in left side we have 6 then again in 6 we have 5 4 6 the right side is 7 so this is fine for 8 the right side is 12 right so this is exactly the same output which we have received so that's how we can solve this question we can remove the nodes which are outside the given range and that's all about this question if you have any doubts then please write in the comment section i will try to explain that and i will also put the source code into description section so if you want then you can also get it from there so that's it and if you have liked the video then please like it and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you